What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so yes. In our last episode, it was a <laughs> it was a long one. It was a very, very long one. And uh, thankfully it's all over and done with. We got everything that we needed. And now here we are in Fuchsia City, and yes, we're going to be doing everything in Fuchsia City from, you know, capturing Pokemon, battling, and all that stuff, getting some new items, and, uh, well, everything else in between. So the first is first, guys. We're going to be going straight into the Safari Zone because, well, there is something that needs to be done over there. As you guys probably already noticed, this place is home to the Safari Zone, and it does have some Pokemon on display, such as Slowpoke, and then Chansey, and all that stuff. Off screen, I'm going to try and capture all these Pokemon. Well, I'm going to try and capture whatever Pokemon I can, including the rare ones. And look at this Lapras, King of the Seas. And what else? Oh, yes, Ammonite. Obviously, the Pokemon, the. What was it? The fossil that you didn't choose is being in display right here, being regenerated. And the much more rare Pokemon, Kangaskhan. And I think there's an individual right here that, yes, will teach you a new move. I'd love to be a substitute for a baby and snuggle in a mother's uh, Kangaskhan's belly pouch, but only Pokemon can use the technique Substitute. Want me to teach your Pokemon Substitute? So this right here is the individual that will teach you Substitute. If you guys don't know what this is, it takes half your HP, or I think, it's a, I think it takes a quarter of your HP, and then from there, it makes a little substitute. You don't take the damage, but the substitute does. This is actually a very, very good move when it comes to strategic stuff. I am not going to teach any of my Pokemon that, uh, just that. And, well, let's go right ahead and go straight into the Safari Zone. And here we have this guy. He's like, just for 500 Poke Dollars, you can play the Safari game. You can roam the wide open Safari and catch what you like. Would you like to play? Sure. Let's go ahead and get these uh, 500 Poke Dollars, and we're gonna get the Safari Balls. So it is time. Okay, guys, so first things first. It sounds like we're evolving Pokemon right now. I remember as a kid, I would like to screw around with my brother by playing this song right here because he would always like to see the Pokemon evolutions and all that stuff. I know, I'm, I'm such a good brother and all that stuff. But in this first part, we're going to be going straight into finding some rare items or the, the needed items that we need for you know our adventure to continue. As you guys can see, Nidorans are Pokemon that you can actually capture right here. And well, let's see, let's grab this. Found ourselves a Leaf Stone, which can be used to evolve grass type Pokemon. And well, let's see. Some of the rare Pokemon that you can actually find are Chanseys, Kangaskhans, uh, Scythers, or Pincers. I believe in this walkthrough you can get a Pincer. I think, yeah, I bought one. I think I bought a Pincer. I don't know. No, I didn't buy a Pincer, but yeah. Pincer or Scyther, and well, of course we're gonna get it, we're gonna we're gonna be getting attacked by Pokemon, and here's a Pokemon that we're all too familiar with, Execute. So we're gonna try and capture this Pokemon because obviously we had this guy in Pokemon Leaf Green. You guys already know the uh, you guys already know the infamous uh, Patrick situation, which yes we will be trying to capture a Staryu here too, and two, three. Throwing out that peace sign. Okay, so there it is, guys. We captured an Execute, aka Execumon. So here it is, Execute, the egg Pokemon. Even though it appears to be eggs of some sort, it was discovered to be a life form more than a plant seed, more like plant seeds. And we're gonna give this guy the nickname Execumon. Let's see if we can actually spell it right. Exec. 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 Huh. Oh, yeah. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go ahead and go with, with it. Exeg. Exeg. Cumon. Wow. Can't even pronounce it right. <laughs> Exeg. You come. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Let's be a little peachy right here. Exeg. Cumon. There we go. Not. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. I should be going to hell. Mon. There we go. Exegumon. That's how you spell it, okay? <laughs> Alrighty, so let's move on right here. Going to Teams 1. And like I said, I did organize my PC to bring in some of these Pokemon that I've used in the past, including Pokemon Leaf Green. 
And here we found ourselves a leaf res or full restore. And we're getting attacked again by a Pokemon. And yes, we're going to be getting attacked by a Nidoran male. So let's go ahead and just move out right here. So let's go straight ahead and see what else we can actually find. Again, be uh, very vigilant on the whole ground situation where if you can actually find some, uh, some uh, what was it called, some berries as well, guys. And again, might be wasting a few steps right here. But we're going to be grabbing this. And we found ourselves a quick claw. A needed item for any Pokemon who are slow, you know, who are very, very slow. And, well, let's see. I'm getting attacked again. Please let it be a rare Pokemon. And, yes, here is a Need Arena, which, well, as many of you guys already know, we captured. Well, we already had one for, like, maybe a brief 30 seconds. And, well, let's see. Who's next? Nidorans. Wow. Getting attacked by Nidorans, go ahead, let's just go ahead and throw a Safari Ball because I know that there's somebody that wants to trade a male for a female or vice versa, so there it is. Oh, never mind. It's watching carefully. Okay, so I'm going to run away because, yeah, I really don't... Yeah, whatever, screw it. Let's go straight up and again, attacked by a Pokemon. Another Nidorman. Wow, he followed me. Yeah, don't want that. Let's go right ahead. And do this. Found ourselves TM47 Steel Wing. Nice move. This one right here. A protein. That way you can get all buffed up. Attack and all that stuff. And again, attack by a Pokemon. And this Nidoran male wants us to capture it, but I'm gonna say no. We already got ourselves one. Oh my god. Seriously? Okay, so we got a Paris right here. No, don't want to capture it. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and see if we can grab some more items right here. Here we are, Safari Zone. Grab this, found ourselves a gold teeth. And right here, found ourselves TM32 Double Team. And we're going to go up here, and if you talk to this individual... Ah, finally! You're the first person to reach the secret house. Although, I made a campaign for a grand opening. I was getting worried that no one would uh, win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won! And here we have the HMO3. HMO3 is Surf. Pokemon will be able to ferry you across the water using it. And this HM is, isn't disposable, so you can use it over and over. You're super lucky for winning this fabulous prize. Which is true, because we did it in with 82, well, with 82 steps to spare. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is off screen I'm gonna capture as many Pokemon as possible um, and then we're gonna head on to the next thing here in Fuchsia City which is grab a few items battle and then after that go into the gym so I'll be right back with you guys alrighty so after getting done with capturing Pokemon and all that stuff I am going right here because after getting the gold teeth you can go talk to this guy right here and this is the Safari Zone Warden and he's like, thanks, son. You're a real lifesaver. No one could understand a word I was uh, I said, not one. I was too ashamed to show my face around the office even. Let me give you something for your trouble. Bam. We get ourselves the HMO4, which is strength. And, well, let's see. It lets Pokemon move boulders when you're outside of battle. Oh, yes. Did you see or did you find the secret house in the Safari Zone? Yes, I did. So that is two HMs in one and what we're going to do right here is we're actually going to be using that hm to teach it to one of our pokemon right here as you guys can see we got a nice amount of tms and all that stuff going back into the pokemon uh going back into the safari zone i did manage to get myself a few extra items and so we're going to be giving bones the hm04 strength right here and yeah we're going to be replacing it with headbutt and all that crud so there we go, and there it is. Bones is uh, ready to go right there. And after doing that, we can actually move this. And yes, we can move it. There we go, Bones, move that boulder. Bam, okay, now Surf is in a whole different story because we actually have to win this badge, uh, the Soul Badge, in order to actually use uh, Surf. Now, if you go into this house right here, 
you'll be able to find this individual. He's going to be like, I'm the fishing guru's older brother. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Yes, I do. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a good rod, which can actually grab, you know, some, you know, mid mid Pokemon right there, such as Poliwhirl, Poliwag, or just Poliwags and all that stuff. Anywho, I did say we were going to battle, so let's go ahead and start battling some Pokemon trainers. Uh, this is why I got Shocker right up front, because most of these trainers are, you know, weak against grass type or weak against uh, electric type Pokemon. Now, funny thing is, I did give the experience share to a Pokemon that is not going to battle right now. You guys will be surprised after this one, one Shockwave for the win. And there goes Spiro. Look at that. Yes, we are victorious. Shocker gets some experience points, and Ultra Psycho gets experience points. So yes, I do have Ultra Psycho on the team for just this episode because we're going to be going up against a poison type trainer. I'm going to need all the help I can get. So we're going to do a little bit of a training right here, and courtesy of uh, Shocker right now. And well, let's see. I'm always check. I always check every gas grassy area for new Pokemon. Okay, grassy Pokemon. Say hello to Wilton, and he's coming out with his spear right here. So let's go right ahead and shockwave away. And thankfully, these trainers do have evolutionary form, so this will actually give Ultra Psycho a little bit of a, you know, some experience points going into the next gym battle. So let's go right ahead and battle this guy. Not this guy. All right. Here we go, taking on Bird Keeper Ramiro, and he is coming out with his lone Pokemon, Dodrio. This is a very fast and very physical Pokemon, so the best way you can do is go with an electric type Pokemon, or if you got yourself a rock type, go right ahead, and there you go, Shocker gets points, Ultra Psycho getting points. Okay, so Ramiro, yes, you had to bug me. You had to. Okay, so let's not waste our time by getting attacked by another Pokemon. Let's go straight to fly. Let's fly back to Fuchsia City. Let's be a little lazy, guys. I think we've earned that. And the other spot that you can actually battle is down here, right at Route 19. And you'll be able to find two individuals that like to swim. I like to call them Speedo Torpedoes. Yes, and here's Richard, and he's going to be out with his tentacle right now. So let's go ahead and speed away with the shockwaves. Yes. And he's coming out with a shelter. There it is. And look at that. Yes, we have defeated Richard. All warmed up. Yes, you were. All right, who's next? Speedo torpedo number two. Wait, slow down. You'll have a heart attack. How would you have a heart attack? I just want to know that. So here we go, taking on Swimmer Reese. And yes, we're going to shockwave away. Ultra Psycho mooching off our points right here. There we go, and there it is. Just like that, we have won. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna fast forward, guys. I need to do just a little bit more training. That way, I feel comfortable, and I'll be right back for our gym battles right here. Okay, guys. So here we are on top of the Pokemon Center, and we're about to make a trade to Pokemon Leaf Green. Obviously, I am not showing you the leaf green version because, well, fitting in two screens at one time is going to be as much difficult as it is. So, what is going on right now is we're linking up, and, well, let's see. Yes, we finally got in. It took me quite a while. I will be leaving a link on the description right there below. That way you guys can actually, uh, that way you, you guys can actually see how the process is done. So, what we're going to be doing right here, guys, is we're going to be trading Pokemon similar Pokemon back and forth with one chain with one little uh, exception which is Ninjor and Pinsir. These are two Pokemon that are unobtainable in either version. And yeah, we're going to be seeing some uh, we're going to be seeing some uh, some trade evolutions right here. So actually, we're not going to do that. Actually, no. Actually, you know what? Um that is something else too. We actually have to be very very specific with what we do right here. Like we act because you're actually controlling both games at the same time, so that's what we're going to be doing right here, is we're going to be trading every single Pokemon. And on Pokemon Leaf Green, obviously, I am currently using Ultra Psycho. Terramon, of course, I did train it, 
and <laughs> it is a uh, yeah it is going to be part of this walkthrough right here too we're not going to be seeing a little bit of a trade right now because well obviously we already uh, we already evolved uh, ultra psycho in pokemon leaf green so here we have ultra psycho that's going to be added into our pokedex as all as always we're going to be trading these pokemon back that way you know this uh this actually you know can it continues so right now in pokemon leaf green Terramon is evolving into Golem, and yes, we are going to be seeing a Pokemon evolution later on right here. I'm not pressing anything else. Everything's going to be going into normal speed because, well, the last time I tried the speed button onto a trade, that kind of messed it up. So here we have a final evolution, and so that's done. So that's evolution number one right there. The next Pokemon on our list is going to be the second one on our slot right, the second slot right here, so... I don't know why we have smoke right here, holy crud, okay, so... Yeah, I completely forgot to... I completely forgot... to switch out the smoke... the smoke in leaf green for the actual smoke, so... We're gonna be seeing a trade right here, and... we are trading the smoke in leaf green to... To the other version for Ultra Psycho right now. And of course, you know, back and forth, we're gonna be doing our thing. Look at that. Everything is being traded. And there you go. Again, guys, this is like a this is like totally brand new. This is awesome. Cannot believe we're doing this, but here we have smoke from Leaf Green and Ultra Psycho from Fire Red right now is currently evolving. Again, I'm sorry that I'm not showing you guys the other screen right here. Very, very hard to actually put up onto onto the, the, the editing or the video editing program right here. So we're just gonna be seeing our evolution, which you know eventually will will we'll start up in just a little bit. So Ultra Psycho has finally evolved into Alakazam. And well, now we're moving on to the next thing right here. This again, guys, this is this is like, you know, I cannot believe we're finally doing this. So, here we have the next communication standby. And we're going to be trading my smoke right here, Ultra or smoke, Haunter, for Pinsir because it's at the same slot. And again, we're controlling the same kind of thing right here. As you guys can see, I got a Pinsir in Pokemon Leaf Green. So, we're going to be trading it. We're going to be adding pages and all that stuff. Now, funny thing is, guys... Growing up, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be telling a lot of stories right here because, wow. But growing up, I only had one Poke. Uh, I only had one, uh, well, one, one Game Boy, and then one Game Boy Advance. It took a lot for me to actually start trading for Pokemon. And then when I, you know, when my folks would tell me that we're going on visit with somebody that I knew had a, had a, a game link or something like that, I always brought my Game Boy or my Game Boy, my Game Boy Advance, just so I could start trading Pokemon. And, you know, you best believe I did not, like, I would never restart my games because obviously, you know, I, I'm trying to complete the Pokedex. Now here, being an adult, you can buy big boy things and all that crud. And, yeah, it's just like, you know, I, I it's kind of like I'm feeling, a, like, I'm kind of like making up for lost ground that I missed out on back in the day. Especially right here on uh, in on YouTube because I know that I missed out on a lot of trading, on in screen trading and all that stuff. So yeah, I, I guess that, that, that's another great change for my channel. So let's see, what's the next one? Okay, so now we're gonna be seeing an evolution ourselves. Machoke for Machoke, and well, as many of you guys already know, Machoke does evolve into Machamp. This is one of the Pokemon that you know. This is one of the Pokemon that you, you do definitely want to have on your team. Now, one Pokemon that they did right by was Macho going into Pokemon Yellow because you would actually get a Machamp. I wish they would have done that for the other evolutions, kind of like Alakazam and Gengar, but I kind of get why they wouldn't do it because, you know, in Generation 1, Alakazam, of course, an overpowered Pokemon. So here it is, finally, in evolution. Both Pokemon right here are evolving. And, well, look at that. Here we're going to have our Machamp and filling up our Pokedex. So, yes, we are we are literally trying to fill up the Pokedex before we go into the next uh, the next thing. And something happened right here. What the hell happened? 
And did you guys hear that sound? Holy crud. Okay, so we got my champ. And well, the next Pokemon that we're gonna be getting. Let's see. So the next Pokemon we're gonna be getting is Terramon for Ninja right here. So let's go ahead and switch it out. And if you guys are wondering, yes, I am going to be doing this for these for the other Pokemon that I have had for trade, such as Serpentera and Torpedo. They will eventually make their their way here into this walkthrough. This is again the reason why I'm going with a variety of Pokemon because man, I am trying to fill it up and I am trying to showcase everything right here because eventually we're going to be going back into Pokemon Heart Gold and there is a way of getting these Pokemon straight to Heart Gold. And look at this, we got Terramon from Pokemon Leaf Green and Ninjor is at Leaf Green right now. So let's go ahead and see that trade that we didn't get to see or that evolution I should say. And look at this. Here we have a Golem, and yes, that will be filling up our Pokedex as well. Look at that. Bam. So, and that right there sounded pretty awesome. <laughs> so that is another trade evolution that is most needed. And, well, we're standing by right here, guys. <laughs> okay, so... We got the Pokemon that we need. What I'm going to do off screen is I'm going to trade my Pokemon back because obviously on Pokemon Fire Red now, we got a level 71 Ultra Psycho and, you know, more than capable Pinsir. But again, I'm trying to do this my way. So I'll be right back with you when it comes to trading all these Pokemon again. See you guys. Alrighty, guys. So <laughs> a little bit of a hiccup that I had after the whole trade and that was that you know I even though I saved the game it didn't uh, the trade didn't go through so I had to save the state then save the game or no save the state restart load the state and then save the game so it can overwrite the data so here it is guys we got ourselves the Pokemon that you know we've been waiting for look at this Terramon we haven't seen this guy since Pokemon yellow hardy nature and everything yes it's looking like a tank and then ultra psycho in its final form here in Pokemon fire red I cannot wait to start using this Pokemon right here in this gym and well we're gonna be going with this team right here going into the uh, fifth gym so let's go right ahead and do that I cannot believe that you know, it's taken us quite a while, guys. Again, it has taken us so long to figure this whole thing out, and I am so glad that, you know, we finally get to showcase it right here onto my channel. So, hope you guys like it. You know, like the button or something. Press the like button or something like that, because, yes, we are finally doing some trades here. And, well, say hello to Terramon right here. Let's go straight for a rollout. If you guys remember, in Pokemon Yellow, I did use, uh, what was it, Golem as one of my Pokemon, and it worked out perfectly going into uh, going into the Elite Four and everything. Not only that, but showing off some initial trades going into it, like in Pokemon Stadium. You know, best idea ever, because it actually worked out at the very end. Terramon was a force. Now with its new moves, it's just, uh, it's just wrecking everything, and of course, Ultra Psycho gaining levels without doing anything and it's learning call mine so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna take away future sight because it really doesn't need it it's more of a Pokemon that it's more of a one-shot Pokemon right here and well he's gonna be coming out with a Kadabra as many of you guys already know this gym is very very notorious for having a mixture of both poison and psychic type Pokemon some of these psychic type Pokemon are very, very good at using, what was it, poison type attacks like poison gas. So you should probably call this the fart, yeah, the fart gym. So let's go straight, oh wow, I was going to go for that. And because of that opening, Reflect is going to boost up the defense. So let's go again. Damn it, okay, there we go. And yeah, this Pokemon is not going to let us win that easily. Okay, I'm getting sick and tired of this guy. So... Let's go with Leonardo. Let's go with a bite attack. And just like that. Okay, so I didn't expect to go that fast. And Bookkiss grows to level 32. And Juggler Nate has been defeated. Yes, I had you fooled. 
Oh my god, I cannot believe, uh, cannot believe we just traded. So, Lexi, talk to this guy. Yo, champ in the making! Fuchsia is trickled, uh, trick, uh, tricked up place, is a trick up place, can't speak, god dang it. It's a riddled in invisible walls. Koga might appear close, but he's blocked off. You have to find the gaps in the in the walls uh, to reach them. Or better yet, just look at the, the dots, the little white dots that you see right there. Alright, strength isn't the key for Pokemon. Do you understand this? Pokemon is about strategy. I'll show you how strategy can beat brute strength. And I will show you how brute strength can beat strategy. So here we go, taking on Juggler Caden. And he is coming out with his Hypno right here at level 38. And, well, let's go straight for a rollout attack. And, well, this Psychic attack is going to hit us hard. And just like that, we get defeated. Okay, so... It looks like we're going to have to be all physicality right here. Alrighty, so let's go straight for a bite attack. As many of you guys already know, Hypno is a psychic type Pokemon and will not like bite attacks right there. So there we go, get experience points, and Caden has been defeated. Yes. Suck it. Oh, yeah, and uh, yeah, make sure to heal up your Pokemon because uh, that right there will uh, we'll actually need it. Oh, crud. Okay, so we only have a few revives, not a lot of potions. <laughs> Yeah, I was so excited about what was going on that I forgot about that. So I'll be right back with you guys with the whole potions and stuff. Alright, we're back, baby. So, let's go right ahead and battle some more Pokemon trainers right here. These, uh, false-type Pokemon trainers. Let's go straight for Bones right here. And let's see what this guy's all about. I was a magician once upon a time. But I dreamt of becoming a ninja, so I joined this gym. A ninja. The only problem is that you're not exactly ninja. You're still a juggler. That kind of that, that's kind of disappointing in a bit because you know it would be nice to have ninjas and all that crap. So let's go for a focus synergy right here and poison gas, obviously. So strength attack again, and look at that. Bones grows to level 31, and we're coming out with a drowsy right here. So let's go straight for Leonardo. Water pulse attack, and of course we're gonna get poisoned. And, well, level 40 right there. Here comes Kadabra. Let's go for Terramon. And let's go for the rollout attack right here. And just like that, Terramon is wrecking everything. Let's continue on since we still have a rollout. No, not really. Okay, magnitude. Magnitude again. And just like that. So the these guys do love to use Reflect a lot. It is very strategic. They do like to inflict poison. It kind of gets on your tits just a little bit. So, as you guys can see, we got ourselves some full heals. This is a very... Well, this place right here, um, Fuchsia City, is a place where you can actually buy uh, full heals. So, if you guys want to save some space onto your uh, your bag, go ahead and sell those uh, Awakenings, Burn Heals, Paralyzed Heals, and just go straight for the full heals until you get, you know, the, the full restore and all that crud. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what this guy has to say. I also studied the way of the ninja with Master Koga. Ninja have a long history of using animals. Yeah, don't say it. Okay, so here we go, guys. Taking on Tamer Edgar, and he is coming out with... Arbok. Arbok, pure poison type Pokemon. This should be fun, but there is one little thing. Yes, it's Intimidate. is going to mess us up. So let's go straight for a Bone Rang, see if this works. And here we go, Bone Rang. That hits it pretty hard. Here comes another one. And that was super effective, so that only hits it twice. And I kind of got a little trigger happy right there. But it actually connects Bone Marek for, with it, for the win. Look at that. Bones is kicking some butt, taking some names. Look at that, Bones. That's right. And he's going to be coming out with a Sand Slash, so let's go straight for Leonardo. Okay. Leonardo, how's it going? And Sand Slash is looking pretty uh, bulky right there, but guess what? Water Pulse for the win. And that defeats Sand Slash. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And Bones grows to level 32 and is learning Rage. This is a very good move if you keep on getting hit, but it, you know, it just inc it increases power every single time you get hit, but the only problem is. If your Pokemon's defense is not that great, you could be in trouble. So here we go with Ultra Psycho making its debut in Pokemon Fire Red. Joke's on you, Arbog, because yes, this Pokemon is more of the mind rather than the physicality and stuff. So here we go. Psybeam for the win. 
And just like that, Arbok has been defeated. Look at that. Oh, yes. We got a team, guys. We have got a team. And he is not happy about that. Okay, so let's move on right here. We got, we got quite a few more trainers to go. And before we battle, let's go right ahead and switch out Bones. Let's go with Smasher right here. I haven't seen you in quite some time since we've, you know, increased your level. Stop right there. The famed invisible walls of Fuchsia City or Fuchsia Gym have you frustrated. Not really. Been here so many times that, you know, it becomes second danger. So here we go, taking on Tamer Phil. Coming out with his Sand Slash and, well... Let's go with a Dig Attack. Body Slam, Body Slam, and there we go, we win. Okay, so let's see, he's coming to come out with an Arbok, so this should be a good battle for Smasher. Try it again, and just like that, we defeated another uh, Arbok, and Tamer Phil is like, Whoa, you've got it! Yes, I do. It's a shame they can't be actual ninjas. Master Koga comes from a long line of ninjas. What did you descend from? A long line of badasses, that's all I got to say. Okay, so here we go, taking on Juggler Sean, and he's coming out with a Drowsy. This... Could be a problem if this drowsy does have this drowsy does have oh yeah it does have psychic so there we go two hit KO and oh he's about to come out with the hypno so we need to go straight to big booty butt kiss and let's go that poison gas obviously gonna hit us right again and there we go we win bones and butt kiss get some points and Sean has been defeated okay alrighty with the exception of the whole poison thing, I think we're good to go. So let's see. Give that to that. And let's go straight for a super potion. There we go. Another super potion. And yeah, we're going to be using quite a few super potions on every single one of these Pokemon right here. Okay, so I think the next battle is Koga. So obviously we're not going to be... We are not going to be speeding up this whole thing since it is a very important battle. And all you have to do now is go straight right here. And Koga's right there. <laughs> a mere child like you dares to challenge me? The very idea makes me shiver with with mirth. Don't know what that means. You see? There it is, guys. I'm learning stuff. Very well. I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. Poison brings steady, uh, steady doom. Sleep renders foes helpless. Despair to the creeping horror of poison-type Pokemon. Oh, wow. He's kind of getting me scared. Oh, man, I'm scared. Well, you guys already know this. It's on the timestamp right there. I love this song. Alrighty, guys. Here it is, our fifth battle against Gym Leader Koga. He is the poison-type Gym Leader. And, of course, he's going to be coming out with a god dang coughing. Alrighty. So, going against coughing right here, it does have the levitate uh, technique. So, what we're going to do is self-destruct. Because we don't need this mess. That's right. That's one down. Well, that's two down. And we're going to be going straight for the next one. And Bones still gets some level up right there. And we get to see what kind of Pokemon this guy comes out with. But we're going to go with Ultra Psycho right here. This does not take a turn away from us. And from here, he's going to be asking a muck. And, well, let's go. Psybeam attack for the win. That's right. It's not like we weren't prepared for you, muck. And here comes a, minimi a minimize attack. So what needs to happen right here is we need to get a calm mind going because... We need to boost up this uh, this special attack since Ultra Psycho is all about that. And here comes a Sludge attack, and since it is a special attack, holy buckets! All right, Psy Beam for the win. Now is Psy? Wait, 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 wait! I, I, I'm I'm confused. Is Sludge a, a physical or a special attack? Comment down below, guys, because I'm kind of confused. If it's part of a, if it's part of what's his face, then you know what? That's not fair. So here comes. Coughing, and we're gonna go with the side beam right here. Oh yes, broken AF and Ultra Psycho kicking butt, taking names again. Look at that. Alrighty, alrighty, and Koga's about to come out with a wheezing. So we're gonna take our shot right here since we already boosted up, and this is a level 43 wheezing. Going with a side beam for the win, and that doesn't save wheezing. I am throwing out that goddamn peace sign. 
And there it goes. Ultra Psycho grows to level 34. Oh my god. That's right, guys. We defeated him. <laughs> you have proven your worth. Here, take the soul badge. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. I'm throwing it out. Okay, alrighty. Now that you have the soul badge, the defense of your Pokemon rises. It also lets you serve outside of battle. Ah, take this too. And we get ourselves a TM06, which is a very, very powerful TM. This one is toxic. It is a secret technique dating back 400 years. When afflicted by toxic, a Pokemon suffers more and more. It suffers worsening damage as the battle wears on. It will sure, surely terrorize foes. That's right, guys. We will terrorize our foes and everything. So, this has been an interesting episode, to say the least, guys, because not only did we go straight to the, uh, we went straight to the Safari Zone, captured some Pokemon, grabbed some items, but we did our first trade right here on the VBA. And again, if you guys want to know how to do it specifically, the link is on the description right there from a reputable uh, video. That's how I learned how to actually trade these Pokemon. Uh, this will continue on, especially with, you know, Pokemon with item trades and all that crud, and in Pokemon Emerald once we get to that stuff. So, this has been an interesting episode, and uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, like, I'm, go I'm going to, like, you know, enjoy just a little bit. I'm going to watch it again because, wow, like, we did a lot of work here. So, anywho, in the next episode, guys, we're going to be going straight to Saffron City. And I think in this one, we are going to be splitting up a few episodes because it's going to be a lot of stuff going in there. So in the next episode, guys, we are going to be going into the Silco. We're going to be battling people. We're going to be getting some Pokemon and all that crud. And then from there, we're going to be battling two gyms. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for being as supportive as can be, patient and all that crud. I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on Saffron City itself. See you guys.